My name is Paul Marsh and I want to talk today about Easy Roads 3D. Just a very quick introduction to it. Um, it's a video that I wish was out there when I started looking at it because although it's a great tool, I found it really difficult just to get started with it. So I've um, got a Unity project here. I've already got a hold of the asset of Easy Roads 3D. So we've got a, just a flat terrain here, nothing very interesting. So the first thing we need to do is just create a road network. So we just import these settings. Yes, give me all the types. This gives us our road network. Okay, so I'll just come back to that in a second because it's very important, this node. So here we have our, what's called easy road modular base which is basically the main menu. I like to think of it as the kind of road manager, if you like. So the first thing we want to do, as always, is create a new road. So we say add new object. Now I'm kind of expecting something to appear and nothing does. But the trick here is you have to shift click, which gives us a little blue dot, shift click again, and that gives us our start and end points. That creates a little road between the two. Hopefully you can see that little road there. That's great. Now, being a Unity user, I would expect this object to appear in the tree. And sure enough, under road objects, here it is. Now this is where I started making mistakes because I saw this object and I started wanting to try and manipulate it and do things with it. Don't do that. Honestly, just stay away from this road object as much as possible. What you really need to do is go back to the road network and stay on the road network stay in this manager so when you select a part of the road network say you click this little node here you can see all the details of the individual road and you can do stuff to it and we'll always stay on this road network honestly just don't veer off that road network um, right so we've got a little piece of road and that's kind of interesting what we want to do is extend that piece of road so with that road network lit you get the two little handles and you can select either one of these handles let's select this one on the left and then we come over to here and we want to just hold the shift down and click again and that gives us a new node and then we can hold this node and just like any object uh, in unity we can manipulate that and as you can see it gives us a nice little bend on the spline there that's cool and you can click this one and move it along here and that'll give us a, so do the little bend there. It's really easy to use. And if you um, click here, I believe, if you hold the mouse over here and you press I, then you get another point in the spline. We can start manipulating it there. Or we could come over to here and then you can press R. Oops, sorry, Shift R. Mm -hmm. Shift R and that deletes it. So then you can add take away and do all sorts of nice little pieces here so now we can kind of manipulate this whole thing which is great and as far as our road object is concerned we've still only got the one road object now okay let's make things slightly more interesting so click off this back onto the train but we're still on the road manager click add new road create a new object and let's just click a road let's say and shift click the first point, shift click for the second point. So now we've got two objects. So we can see the here and the road objects, we've got two objects, it's great. Right, now, what you wanna do is again, stay on the road network. Very important you stay on the road network. So we can take this little green object here and we can extend it, as we already know. And if you keep extending it, you can see that the other one goes yellow tells you yeah you can connect and it will snap connect so now we've got one long road that's great really good but we've still got two objects it hasn't created it hasn't joined them to form one object we've still got two unity objects but again stay away from these objects go back to the road network any kind of manipulation you want to do on here you just keep using these nodes here so i managed to break that connection there it back together again right 
So that's sort of the rudimentary roads. The next thing I, that I found a bit bizarre was adding connections. So let's come over here and we want to create a, just a basic default T crossing. So again, we haven't got this selected. So we just got the network selected. And now we shift left click and we get a new T junction. Again, make sure the road network's connected. We just kind of click in here. So it shows us all the little bits and bobs we can play with the pathways and things, pavements around the outside. Just click on that. Now we get these little green nodes. If we hold one of these green nodes, you can extend out and you get a road. And then just like before, we can extend that out. Ooh, ooh. If you do it, I'll use this one handle, much easier than trying to do the free format. And then you drop it in here and it's connected. This is created a bit of a dip here, so we can come here and just lift that up above the level. So that was relatively easy. So again, we can just come here and we can draw a road off that. It's nice and easy. Now this time, if we keep this one selected and come back to the connector, and we say create a new T crossing, because this got green item selected, it'll just automatically snap and give us a new one there. Uh, and if it's not quite what we want, we can say rotate connections, so we can get the kind of T junction that we were after. So that's kind of a basic introduction into how Easy Roads works. Um, honestly, the main thing to take away is just keep the road network selected. Um, don't do anything on the game objects. I mean, don't come in here and go, I think I'll delete this piece of road. Just come in here and write delete. It will work for a bit. And then the road network will just start giving you crazy errors and you just can't do things. Stay away from it. Stay on the road network. That's so important. Just don't click the individual objects. So I hope this has been useful and I may continue and create some more interesting roads in, in further instalments. Thank you for listening. Bye.